Hey guys, welcome back to Get Real with J-Rex. Today we're going to watch X-Men Episode 5 and Episode 6. Now shout out to Peter Saints. Hopefully I said your name right. But he told me Episode 5 is a must-see and it's the one that everybody's talking about. So let's check it out. Is Previously, on let's get a recap. Mr. Sinister! The techno-organic virus strain. Yeah, this Mr. Sinister thing was crazy. We can't go with you. Yeah, my next Nathan's life out. will be mine. But merely to accept that this is a shared world. I can't get over Magneto with this long hair. I don't know why. Do you think your team would still trust you if they knew? Oh, do we get to find out Rogue's secret? Oh, it's off. Another user uh, suggested that I watch this. Uh, maybe I do a recap. So, guys. Uh, let me know what recap video I should be watching. Oh, was that Cable? I'm gonna have to go back and look at episode one. But I only watched one intro. Episode five, stoked. Was it caused by atomic testing? Some call them monsters, but all You know what's incredibly planet, accurate about this is it's even her hair. Mute. It makes me so hot. Still is. Helping us build those bridges is a journalist as esteemed as yourself. Well, I am just as flattered a renowned scientist such as yourself, Dr. McCoy. <laughs> blue blushes too, my dear. Dr. McCoy just got blue balls. Unassuming English estate, the X-Men's home, founded by the late Professor Charles Xavier. For many of the X-Men, Xavier's school is the only home they've ever known. So this must be like a news piece to kind of but that show of people how human they actually really are. Today, as the UN formally admits the mutant nation of Genosha. Look ahead. Hey, yo. It was like freaking uh, Jurassic week. Island. <laughs> the statue of uh, Magneto and Professor X was pretty cool. See how many of these characters I actually know because I don't know a lot of X Men. I just know like some some of the teams from the comics, but not all of them. And they've had so many, and then kind of diluted a lot by the TV, like by the movies, which I know kind of pulled a little bit away from from the comics. My friends, well, would you look at you, girl? The interim council wanted an X-Man. Luckily, you guys could spare a gene. Two always better than one. I confess, the Master of Magnetism was surprised to receive an invite bearing the United Nations seal. Yeah. Magneto, the interim council would love a word with you before tonight's gala. You know, not a spoiler alert, but I wish that the Gambit character in a recent <laughs> popular movie... Hey, what's up, Nightcrawler? I wish that he would have had the contacts. Kurt Wagner, how the heck are you, furball? The I always thought he was pretty cool. Magneto. I felt the animated and comic version was a lot cooler than the movie version. If you have much to discuss, come! Probably be the most amazing skill to have. Oh my, it's just like he said it'd be. Daddy's charging pretty high rent. Ten dollar apple. Him, so I can't help but ruin honey. How many mutants Finally. have overlapping powers? It does not take a priest to see you and Rogue's souls touch in every gaze. Ain't the touch she be looking for. Is violence I bet he's, on close-ups. I, I bet Gambit is incredibly misunderstanding Rogue and Magneto's situation. Scoundrels like me, we don't get no white picket reward. We too busy for love. There is no love too busy for hating. sin. I am here with Scott Summers. I'm surprised to see such a bold move in world politics. I always kept that in mind as field leader. Hey, uh, also, you guys told me Scott is the leader, so I accept that. Actually, let's talk about you and Marvel Girl. When did you know she was the one? You're skipping the questions, too. Even reacquainting myself with my psychic powers. This busted mug ain't changed in a hundred years. So many with Scott. The two lovebirds still ain't talking. He's grieving his son. The Phoenix. Hold on. Oh. So hold. Okay. So that's gotta be weird, though. I mean, m imagine being Scott, right? And you have their woman, and you have the baby, and then you realize that the woman you had the baby with was a clone, and then your actual woman shows up at the door. Like that's gonna do some damage to you, and they take your baby. All right. Let me continue. That gene needs to just chill, that's all I'm saying. 
He was scared, afraid the Phoenix had changed me. I could already feel the universe speaking to me. She it sounds like they've the fallen apart. And then she takes off my ruby glasses. His eyes made me stay. You think Wolverine wants to hear that? Best to look up and keep paddling, because the past will yank you under if you don't. I forget how many sunrises your eyes have right. seen. Right, he's old as hell. The only ever seen one of you, Red. Just the one. Logan, I I'm... You're Jean Grey. He's Scott Summers. Those are the rules. You just forgot him for a sec. Enough said. Wow. Now, the latest adventure. Wow. Parenthood. Jean and I don't have Jean. any kids. You don't? No. Ooh. Hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers just last month. Born at Westchester Memorial. This is when you have to screen your interviewer. Like, look, we're not going to talk about the pregnancy. It's complicated. Off the record, I'll talk to you. And you lie. Why lie? Because you're normal. Excuse me? I said because you're normal. Oh, snap. You're ungrateful. Yeah. Scott's snapping. I lie because the truth is we're nothing like you. It's the only reason you people are still alive. Wow. Cut, cut, cut. Recent events have aligned themselves. We need to be thinking about how to speak loudly. This concerns me and my ex-men. How? We need a handsome jawline that begs trust and respect. Hmm. You wish for me to rule Genosha. Huh. Hilarious. Politics. Are there no others? Aye, but Charles be gone, Magneto. But if Charles trusts you with his X-Men, he trusts you with this. How can he rule Genosha and, the, and lead the X-Men? You can't. You can't do both. Any dream worth having is a dream worth dying for. Like Moses in the Promised Land. We would carry the dream. But never live it. Guys, tell me in the comments, Look, who is that yes. around the table? You shall have me on one condition. I ought to knock you from here to the North Pole. You think making me your queen means we're getting back together? Oh, so it they did have a romantic past. Rogue. Me, mutant kind's fiercest defender. And you, a true leader. An empathetic one. Was this your plan all along? This was Xavier's design. It is why he gave me so, his X-Men. Pause. So how old is Rose really supposed to be? Because obviously I'm playing the uh, recency bias. And then the, obviously in the shows, sorry, the movies, she's like a kid. Like she's literally a kid. And I know that's different. And obviously a Magneto, uh, Eric is an old man. I mean, he's an old man. He's old. So obviously that would never work. But in this lore... How old is she actually supposed to be? And how old is Magneto? I mean, he's an old man. Anyway, continue. Sorry. This is what happens when I watch it real time instead of pre-recorded first and then watch it. The promise we made to one another so long ago. But I need help. I won't deny my passion for you. We would be lucky to have you. I can't got a decision to make. lost it like that. Sometimes you just have to let go. Describe Nathan. That's right, she didn't get to see him. Wait, well, she I did, but she doesn't cover. remember because she but was like up here, passed out. It reminds me of of us. <sighs> Don't tell me you can explain. Whoa. Jean. If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Whoa, Sorry. hold up. Mine just drifted a moment. Explain what? I know what I saw. Jean, you... How long has it been happening? What? Uh, a month, maybe. I, I was... Go to Genosha. Be with my clone. Oh. I thought for a second the clone and her were like switched places. She's the mother of my son. That's... Right. Do you love her? I... Love... Both of you. Sinister cuts out a part of me and you... Love it? That wasn't love in there. It's ego. The music's changing and you need a chance. It's your clone! Leader. You don't trust your memories. Do you even love me? My love for you is the one thing I remember amid this pain and insanity. What about when you were sucking Logan's face? Do you love me, Jean? Am I just a lovely memory? Jean! Wow. Uh, hey there. What's Gambit all dressed up for? What's wrong, Shia? You best sit down. Uh-oh. My evil mother was helping me with my powers. The man seemed nice enough, seemed to want to help. Mutant art, fashion, 
dance wasn't just about my power. Got talent. It could be other things started happening. Oh boy. Eric said he wouldn't want me to lose. What's going through Gambit's head right now? He acted like it never. He's not even happened. listening anymore, is he? You gonna accept his offer? And if I can play a bigger role and better in the world, that's the whole reason I became an X-Man. So is that yes or no? You never wanted to make things official, like telling Gambit the dang truth. I can't touch you, Remy. Your heart may beat for me, but I can't feel There's it. There's that. Something's a bit deeper than skin, Shia. Not this. Till then, we'd be friends, mon ami. Mon ami. So she came to tell him about her past and she's upset because he friends owned her. Sort of not really, don't get mad at me. Tell you what, man, these guys know how to throw a party. Fish boy upset. Drink from my dashing Cajun? Assemble the council. We need to talk. My former prosecutor has likely taken issue with your choice for chancellor. Most other nations don't allow a terrorist to be their leader. Didn't they pardon him though? Rogue. What did she say? Oh, what's going on? No. Looks like yes to me. Oh. It's crazy to see or hear a real song in an animation like this. Man, she's not even pretending, man. Damn. Something's going on with those two. Whoa. She knows Gambit's there. What is it? Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. What? Something's going on. Something's all right. Turn it off. The music. Get everybody out. Yeah, something's all right. Ooh, they're under attack. Kill the music. Cable. You have to get everyone out. Cable. What's going on? Body slide. One. No, no. not again. Oh, he's getting ready to time jump. Oh, you made it. You survived. I'm so sorry, Mom. Sorry for what? What's going on? Don't tell me they're all gone. Oh, well, the rogues are there. Magneto. What a sentinel? Roll! Get to the gardens! Hurry! Hurry, mutant. Alright, Nightcrawler still with us. Where's Gambit? Oh no. There he is, Gambit. Be alive. Some vile Godzilla sentinel. You go at it, you end up dead. Trying to evacuate folks now, but the Morlocks, they they stuck in the bay. Damn, it's a full on nail a uh, full scale attack. Hurry! Almost to the gardens! Uh oh. I draw its fire away from the gardens. Rogue clears a path for Gambit to the Morlocks. Save as many as you can. Wow, stuff got like stuff got real. Never much cared for roulette. How about we spice up them rules? So she was gonna leave Mag Magneto anyway after the dance. Oh, this is a crazy action sequence, man. This fight scene is legit. Oh no. Oops. They shall be a Leech knows Callisto will find wow. us. If not her, Magneto. He promised Leech would never be scared again. The X-Men are no friends to the Morlocks. Mutants 
located. Oh, yeah, watch this. X Men are friends to the Morlocks. The Morlocks and everyone. Bon soirée, mes amis. Now kindly follow me. Oops. Damn. Omega Little Threat Detected. They need backup, man. Omega Mutants. Oh no, don't tell me we're about to lose Magneto. Sacrificing himself. And the Morgs. Morlocks? Hub kinda angst. Not your face. Omega threat eliminated. Like, Rogue, what do you think you're gonna do? What the hell is that big thing? Anyway. That's a cause always be in my favor! Oh, man. Mutant intruder neutralized. The name's Gambit, on a me. You just weaponize that thing like a card. Remember it. Uh, hold up. We don't know if we really lost Magneto. How many? Gambit looks like How he's many, dead. How many, damn it? To reiterate for those just returning to us, the images you are about to see may be disturbing. So who sent them to Genosha? The Trask was done. Yeah. <laughs> I can't feel you. <laughs> okay, wow. So you guys are right. Episode 5 was crazy. Uh, is Magneto dead? They said threat eliminated, but we don't know if he's actually dead because we didn't see his body. And he's Magneto. Like the... Like the grade A, top of the line X Men characters. Storm has been neutralized. She's just a person. We haven't heard from her this entire episode. Is Gambit dead? I mean, we're going to find out in a couple minutes when we move to episode six. But man, that's crazy. I just, now I know why everyone's talking about that episode. That's wild. Genosha just got obliterated. Who sent the Sentinels? Is it Trask? Am I, have I not been paying attention? Like, that thing was huge. Anyway, let's go check out episode six. We're gonna skip intro this time. Life or death part two. Okay. I didn't know that was part one. I must have missed it. Okay, where are we? Space? What is this? Maybe it's the answer to our question. Is this where Cable came from? The hell is that? Who is that? What is that? A bunch of dudes running around in their underwear and boots? No, just perish. I've seen her before. Who are they? Bunch of freaks, man, running around underwear and boots. The creed do not. Is that the destroyer, the dude? Fall at my feet, Ronan. For you, it is Ronan the destroyer. A true creed bows to no one. A million pardons, your highness. You dare interrupt? It's your sister, the Empress. Oh, joy. <laughs> Greetings, Shi'ar. One year ago, we offered the skills of our mighty healers to a Terran man on the verge of death. Terran, Earth. I'm connecting New the ordinary dots. ordinary Terran, this man has unlocked the secrets to my heart. <laughs> For your empress is to be married. Empire they don't shall look welcome happy. a new emperor. <laughs> Professor Charles Xavier. Huh? To the might and glory of the Imperium. All right, what's going on? Hmm. Exactly. Do not fret. My subjects trust me when I say you are no mere Terran, Charles. 
Perhaps an empress could even spend a portion of her time ruling the galaxy from my little corner. Are you guys as confused as I am? You wish to return hmm. to your children, don't you? Nearly visit, see their faces. Visit and risk being stuck in its ever spiraling vacuum of dramas. They did say the sacrifice of Charles Xavier when they were talking about him. Nearly destroy the universe with the Emkron crystal? Invite them to the wedding. You've earned a life of your own, Charles, and I need you. An educator such as you can teach them our ways. So you can stand it around in space. Much like my legs in this armor's exoskeleton. Ah. Uh, will you at least consider Earth? I will. Who wouldn't secretly want to go to space and just to know that there's space people out there that look kind of like you? That'd be so cool. You must drink. Why bother? He's a liar. Cost you everything. How many have suffered his gifts? So evil. Your bite is a sort of demonic infection. All lives deserve saving. Even his. This is so dark. So is she captive in her own brain, maybe? Like, I don't know what's going on. You're not an X-Man anymore. Well, where did that get you? She's on shrooms. You're living. The only thing that makes sense. What it would be like to be human is that while you feel your power, sought refuge with this monotone mm. family. Enough! Look at your family. Who you follow. You had already renounced them. This is really demonic. It's crazy. Lord of Chaos! What is it? The Book of Ashanti? Lies. Depart to the desert, demon! Depart! <laughs> Nice job. Despite my best efforts. Careful. I'll give it to be straight. That's pretty awesome. Its bite is magical. Perhaps your mother's book holds an answer. The Midnight Chala grows in nearby caves. I can show you the way. You are too weak. Tell Sounds me like a... where to go. I don't you have to go on a mission. Tomorrow. Then we ride together, my love. Go to the cave and return a new X Men. The Empress. Lilandra Niramani. Your man speaks as if I am your pet. Not an entirely displeasing thought. Hush now, beloved. You may bark later. Charles is a horny little man. You've been trying to get up a gnat since we've seen him. We have been trapped in so much change. A rocky sugars his words, my sister. Yeah, she looks so evil. Your consort was born on the wrong side of the stars. Gentle sister, heed my throne. A union with the Terran would bind the Shi'ar into alliance with his inferior homeworld. So let's speak plainly. Your Empress and I decide alliances, as well as which world we call home. Xavier would see his Milky Way ghetto Sting. become our new throne world. Milky Way ghetto? How dare you? I must invoke the right of Emdasha. Oh. Is that like Terror. rule? Take over? Right requires. A non Shi'ar pass a test of loyalty. A challenge of my own choosing. Then choose. You must renounce Earth and erase all memory of your life there. <gasps> His mind will not be easily scrubbed. You, dear sister, must be the one to do it. I don't trust her. Obviously. Shara and Keithri. Our highest gods. Mm, once enemies, then forced to marry to bring harmony to the universe. What is united if one half must be erased for the sake of the whole? Idealism is also a sign of insanity. I have a very old and very dear friend on Earth who would agree with you. His name yeah. is Magnus, and I wish to remember him. You've made your decision then. Do you love me, Charles? Even you know Deathbird's challenge goes too far. Dude, that would suck that to erase your memory. Memory is what makes you who you are. Why remember? Why not let go? If you refuse, they won't let us be together. Not unless I forfeit my throne, which is exactly Deathbird's design. You saved my life. Your devotion is beyond measure. But? Perhaps it is time to show you mine. What does that mean? There, that's it. Snow Snake Tower. Union forces stored weapons here during the Civil War. Looks like the it place that they uh, store Airwolf in. You guys know that, what Airwolf is? I heard the adversary 
Telling you to let me die? Hush. The demon was not your doing. Before I lost my gifts, I yeah, told was crazy. my sister that I often wondered about being human. I am better this way. <coughs> you better stop talking and get that dude the to the medicine. Grows in darkness. Where? I know how you feel about tight spaces. Yeah. Nope. Charles Xavier, do you stand in our circle to complete the rite of M. Dasha? I do. Mm -hmm. And of your X-Men. Xavier, do you renounce? He hesitates. He insults all Shiar. This was exactly Yeah, my but if he gives it up, then that crazy bitch what is going to take ask over. Him is no small burden. How can we have our blood mixed with his inferior freak fluids? Indeed. This Xavier is not even a pure Terran, a lower caste, a mutant. Excuse you. Renounce her before her lovesick lunacy destroys us all. Gladiator, arrest this treacherous vulture. My Shara! Gladiator, here's uh oh, civil war. The gladiator's dope. No, not this way. Hear me. Class is now in session. That's right, dude. Ha! Ah, put their ass in a freaking classroom. That's hilarious. What have you done? Gladiator, please raise your hand if you have a question. To answer, I have used my vast psychic abilities to draw us into the astral plane. Now pay attention. I forgot he had that power. Honestly, I was like, what is he going to do if, if they start fighting? Are you claustrophobic? I'm claustrophobic. Oh, now you can't see shit. You had to be the bigger woman. Had to save him. Be above it. Like, come here, out, lady. I need your eyes for the light. The high road storm. Last stop. Submit, and I will save you and let you live your tempting daydream. What happened? No, you demon. That's right, girl. Okay. The executioner's neutralizer was not the only weapon tamping down my gifts. There was that lie. And I believed it. Believe the lie. Deny your power. Oh, that's right. We got Class A Storm back for Class 1. Yo, they really need Storm right now. Right. You gonna save that dude though? Gonna stop playing around and get the uh the cactus? Is that a fair question? Strange to feel grateful. Towards the demon? Well, I guess she did it. What are demons? Hide from loved ones, even as they poison our hearts. There, it's starting to heal. It's healed to me. So what now? Should we whisk away to some tropical island? Not an entirely unpleasant idea. To allow Until she sees this. Placed by the brutal attack on Genosha. This, as rumors swirl, <gasps> Genosha is the open war. Yeah, girl, you miss a lot. Let's talk about power. Who can tell me from where the Shi'ar Imperium draws its might? From the crushed skulls that house inferior minds. Raise your hand. Mm. The power of your empire is in truth a harvest of stolen worlds. The Shi'ar Empire is a snake oil racket. Who made up these silly rules? We did. Even if we were to agree, your idealism would confuse our people. They might even call it nonsense. Well, what's nonsense is you're all sitting in these chairs in his classroom. For my X-Men, their heroism teaches a lesson we mustn't forget and all children of the atom. Oh. Hey, Gambit. Gambit? No! No! Ho! 
soul, my children, my children of the Adam! They're like, what the hell is that? Beloved! I must return to Earth immediately. While I cowered in the cosmos, the unthinkable has happened. I love you, babe, but... It is time I return to my X-Men. I did what you asked. I gave you my DNA to access Master Mold. <laughs> Kill me, please. Is that trash? What happened in Genosha? Don't take all the blame, Bolivar. And don't fret yeah, the future. Trash. Why, Genosha was merely the beginning of a prologue now past. You have nothing to fear. Place your faith in Sinister. <laughs> oh, Sinister's back. Damn. So he's, he must be like the main bad guy of this X-Men 97. Alright, I don't have a lot of questions after seeing episode 5 and 6. Did Charles, did that surprise you guys that he's still alive on some other universe, some other planet full of other beings? Obviously, I didn't see the end of X-Men 92 to 96. It was suggested that maybe I watch it. Uh, but... I do remember earlier in the series they said Charles Xavier's sacrifice, which meant that, well, he sacrificed to save everyone. So I, would, I guess I really need to kind of go back and see what the, all that was about. There must have been a war on Earth. Had to have been it. I gotta go see. Guys, if you like this, hopefully you join me for the rest of this journey. Please hit subscribe. And again, the full-length reactions are on Patreon. And I can't wait to get to episodes 7 and 8. I don't know how many episodes there are. I know there's one season, but I do know that they're working on a second season based on the writer or director of this season getting fired. That news clip somewhere in my, my, uh, my YouTube posts, community posts. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for spending this time with me. Again, I'm just trying to catch up with this, uh, but I'm loving the show. And like I said, five was everything that people said it was, and six was pretty freaking cool too. A little confusing, but cool. And like I said, we'll see you guys for episode seven and probably eight.